Well, my friends, this is your absolute last chance right now before Bitcoin swings through this massive, massive bull market. This massive bull market and has this massive bull market and has an absolutely insane breakout and pump to the upside. Make sure you are staying tuned right to the very end of this video, my friend. This is the most important video I have ever done for you. Okay, let's delve right in, my friend. Thank you for coming back to the Crypto Bliss channel here with me tonight. And I am so blessed to be here with you. I am just absolutely grateful that I get to share the presence of you being here with me on this channel, watching my content with me. And I just, this is why I do this for you. So thank you very much. Much love. And as an appreciation, I'd like to share with you the $30,000 deposit bonus that you can achieve for yourself using my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus because when I talk to you about what is about to unfold in this video, you're going to want to be absolutely well positioned for the move that is about to unfold. Well, my friend, let's delve right into today's video. As you can see here, this is the next potential move. Now, I've drawn that chart for you here as well. I've shared this with you a few times that the 1.618, and as we know, Bitcoin loves the 1.618, which we have bounced off of once, twice, three times, four times, five times, pushed up now. We have hit the resistance one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh time. We actually burst out of this resistance level. And we are currently in a move that might give you some interest. Make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of this video, because now what I'm about to unfold for you, my friend, is going to give you the most exciting moment you have had in your life, I'm sure. All right, let's start right in, my friend. So with this at this current point, shout out to CryptoCon, the next move up to the 4.618 from the bottom here to that top is 110,000. Now, it's interesting because in my chart here, and obviously you can see here that I've pulled from the top here right down to the bottom here, and I get a little bit of a different reading. I'm not sure why we're getting different readings, but my 4.618 is up closer to my target of 300,000 for Bitcoin. And that is about 286,000 using this particular chart. Now, I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know who's correct and who's not. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that the next move up on Bitcoin, undoubtedly so, is going to be $100,000, my friend. So between hundred dollars to $110,000, maybe $120,000 would be quite reasonable to see the next pump up which might I say to you from currently where we are is a very delicious 62% move. There is something that I do want to say to you though. There may be an opportunity for us, unfortunately, to pull back at least to between 64,000 and 63,000, okay? Possibly 62,000. I don't think we'll go lower than that 62,000 level here on the 100. But really, right now, we're at a multiple level resistance zone. And we have to be very cautious with that. Not only because the RSI is right at the top. Even though Bitcoin loves to hang out at the top, you can see it quite a few times. It also does like to hang out at the bottom, my friend. So... If you want to know what the next stage the of ETFs this have taken 1.64 billion in just four days, that's quite high considering, if you really think about it, the ETFs officially, and this is from 17th, this is today, just in Bitcoin ETFs officially break $20 billion net inflows since launching in January. BlackRock's IBIT has the most with about $22 billion, and Grayscale had about 
20 billion dollar art flow well i wonder where grayscale's bitcoin went to and look how far the ivet um etf is ahead of all of these others here now the interesting thing is that mr michael saylor doesn't have an etf in micro strategy they actually buy the asset itself and using that to essentially refund and rebuy so they're sitting at a 3x premium right now what do you think they're going to do with that well, I wonder, well, as we've seen, Mr. Tesla has moved $760 million of Bitcoin to an unknown wallet last night. Is Elon Musk selling? I don't know. You let me know down in the comments below. I'm just going to say to you, I don't believe Mr. Elon Musk is selling. And I'll tell you why in a short little moment. Because even though it may seem as though he might be moving it, He's actually moving it over to Howard. Uh, Howard, where's Howard? I'll share Howard with you. Okay. He's moving it over to Howard's uh, bank so that he can use the $760 million to raise funds against his Bitcoin. So, the Howard Bank will custody his Bitcoin for him. Okay, just like gold in previous times. And he will use that to leverage funds against. Just like MicroStrategy has done. Except now he's going to be using Howard Bank as the custodian and the fund manager. So that's my personal view. I don't think Elon Musk is selling because he too himself knows the power and the speciality of this incredible asset. Let's go and listen to the CEO Bitcoin asset class on its own. Bitcoin is a $100 trillion idea that should be in every single portfolio. Let's go and see what he has to say here. Well, it's, it's been a while. Great seeing you, my man. Great seeing you too, Charles. Happy to be here. Yeah, let's talk about this because Larry Fink, I mean, he, I mean, he is like, you know, they say when people become believers, when they're non-believers and they become believers, they become staunch believers. Like he's bought into this big time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the reality here is that Bitcoin, it's a trillion and a half today. This is a trillion, this is a hundred trillion dollar idea. This is a hundred trillion dollar technology. Money, money itself is the biggest total addressable market in the world. And bonds, stocks, real estate have all sort of been monetized in a world where the dollar, the euro, the yen can't can't work as a store of value. Uh, so Bitcoin, Wall Street is starting to understand that this is not just a speculative asset to punt around. This is something that should be in every core portfolio, in every retirement account, in every pension, in every young investor's portfolio, in every corporate balance sheet. Uh, so this is still early days for Bitcoin, and uh, you know it's great to see people like Larry Fink waking up. Yeah, let's talk. Well, I hope you can see actually that what is going on here is insanely beautiful, and I'm pretty confident you just heard him say that Bitcoin currently is a one and a half trillion dollar asset. In fact, it's a little bit less at even one point three trillion dollar asset, and we could see in the future it become a $100 trillion idea or asset. Now, my friend, uh, I'm just going to say to you, that is a 100x on Bitcoin. A 100x times $65,000, $68,000 today, a 100x times that is $6.8 million at $100 trillion. $6.8 million. Who's got the money? We've got the money. If you've been subscribed to the Crypto Bliss channel right here, right now. And that's how you win today. Now let's go and play. All right. Enough of that. Michael Saylor says MicroStrategy will beat every single company in the S&P index using the Bitcoin strategy. Well, that's what I've just been saying to you. Check this out. 
It's been a, a great journey since August uh, 10th of 2020. MicroStrategy has bought about $8.3 billion worth of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's up 44% a year on average since then. The S&P is up 12%. And since we levered it, we're up 825%. The number one performing stock in the S&P is NVIDIA, up 821% as of Friday. So we beat every single company in the S&P index using Bitcoin strategy. Well, I don't know about you, but... The Bitcoin strategy that Michael Saylor has adopted is literally becoming one of the most insane strategies that we could use. And I have to tell you that even in my businesses, I have been adopting that, well, not as extreme as Michael Saylor, but I've definitely been taking monthly chunks of capital and putting that into Bitcoin in their separate business accounts so that we can use that Bitcoin to one day leverage against it so that we too can self-fund our own businesses, scale and grow. Why would we not want to do that in our lives? You can do the same thing in your personal life. That is exactly what the Bitcoin strategy is all about. Whether it's corporatized or personalized, it is completely irre irrelevant uh, or communitized. And hence here, why I'm going to say that the Bitcoin bull run is about to break out. Look at the kind of like chill area. It's coming into the chill area on this parabolic banana zone incoming right now, my friends. Absolutely. You do not want to be missing out on this opportunity. Make sure to hit my Bible link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And as you can see here, now, make sure to stay tuned because there is one signal that I am going to talk about that has been the entire title of this video, the thumbnail of this video, and you're going to want to stay tuned. So, first of all, I, as I said, I believe that we could essentially pull down right back here to retest this breakout, right back down to this zone, and this zone is from 63,000 to 64,000. That is my zone, and I can tell you that zone mentally even without even looking at the charts because of the way that i have experienced bitcoin looking at its future and what it does and the specific types of moves so i would not be surprised if we are here to retest the zone down there as you can right. see here making sure that you know that your altcoin bags ain't gonna do shit until bitcoin actually breaks right out of this all-time high zone. My friends, it is coming right up. We literally have days left. So we have about 17 days. So if we pull back, come down here, maybe meet somewhere in this zone right here, we probably get the bounce right back up before an absolute explosion out of the zone. I, I'm just going to share that with you for now that's my views i don't know what your views are let me know down in the comments below but i'm almost done because without bitcoin exploding your altcoin bags are going to do zero so this was amazing there was a 21x in the last halving now the scalping pro says here next leg up will be legendary and that could end up at a four trillion dollar level I don't actually know, but I mean, the market went from $100 billion to a $1.35 trillion. That's a freaking amazing game. I personally think that we are going to have a altcoin market. And if you don't see this, I've shared this with you multiple times here, 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 here on all of my videos. Make sure to go and check those out. I'll leave them pinned in the cards above for you. But I have said to you, that right now we will see a four to eight trillion dollar market just in altcoins alone let alone bitcoin and you as you heard in this video the blackrock ceo video my friend you need to be well backed up and well tracked up with your bitcoin now what i do want to share with you is this wonderfully incredibly beautiful um image right here very, very, very simple. Okay. The last time we had the MACD, this MACD on the, on the daily has been oscillating quite relaxingly. But if we go and look out, when in doubt, zoom out. Look at the MACD on the weekly time frame here, my friend. 
The last time we had this crossover was down in August of 2022. Shall we go and look at the chart from August 2022? Okay. August 2022, when we came out of the bear market, that's when we had, right here, that's when we had the crossover, my friend. And ever since then, we did ourselves an absolutely incredible 4X on Bitcoin. So if we were to do a 4X on Bitcoin from here, that 4X is going to give us an even higher price than my 300,000 target and take us up to about 330000 to $350,000, okay? It's a lot higher or uh, quite a bit higher. But the point is, is that we're having the MACD crossover. We're having the sole pressure on the, MACD, on the MACD die out right here. And as you can see here, every single time the MACD crosses over. Now, this was this, this here was the 2017 bull market, my friend. This was the 2020 bull market when they did COVID money printing. Okay. This was the ETF rally. Yeah, my friend. What do you think is going to happen when institutional adoption, wirehouses, banks, individuals, yeah. and the next bull cycle start to come from now and see this MACD absolutely ridiculously pump? I wouldn't be surprised if this thing just broke the roof here, okay, on this next cycle. Because the very interesting thing is, is that the depths of where this came from and the depths of where this came from are quite low, especially this one, it's quite low in comparison to where we're at right now. Comparison to where we're at right now, we're actually hitting the brakes quite hard in the current position that we're at, which is what I keep saying to you, that we've bounced off of the 618 moving average. And as you can see, when we pull up on Bitcoin right up to the four, uh, the 3.618 and the 4.618, we will see Bitcoin up here at the 280 to $300,000 Bitcoin. Just like I keep saying to you guys, I don't know. Let me know your targets down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, show some love because I can tell you right here, right now, my friend, we are literally at the last chance and the last opportunity because on the weekly time frame, if we look at the candle here, the candle is ridiculously bullish. So I wouldn't be surprised if we sat here, maybe tap back down. Uh, I don't know. Anything's possible right here, right now. I wouldn't be surprised, okay? But we could open next week's candle, tap down, pull up, and then the following week after elections, which is this green um, vertical line here, we could literally fuck off to the next moon, okay? And we have about 300 days odd to enjoy the sweet, juicy profits that you have gained by being here with me on the Crypto Bliss channel. So show some love, my friend. And yeah, share this with your friend out there who should be watching my channel and let them subscribe. And hopefully you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Much love. And we'll see you on the next one, you blessed beautiful soul. Take care and have yourself a lovely evening.